Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle. Each week I'll be uploading a 5 minute video explaining as simply as possible the world around us. Today in this video we're going to look at how Iceland heats its footpaths using the power of lava. Stick around to the end of the video for one of those strange facts about Iceland. Iceland's position on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge means that it is the location of a lot of volcanic activity. Molten magma rises very close to the surface here. As a result, most of the country's energy needs are met by geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is energy derived from the heart of the earth. It comes from the Greek words geo meaning earth and therm meaning hot. The groundwater in such areas absorb the heat from the rocks and become hot. As the water is heated, its temperature rises well above boiling point to become superheated. The water often reaches temperatures of 200 degrees Celsius. Wells are drilled into the rock and hot water is pumped out of the ground. If there is a shortage of groundwater, cold water is pumped into the rocks by a series of wells. When the superheated water reaches the surface, the pressure drops, it turns into steam. This superheated steam is then used to drive turbines and actually generates electricity. Iceland has a total of five geothermal energy plants and these produce 75% of the country's electricity requirements. The main demand for energy comes from the households. The country is now considering building an underwater connector to Scotland to export clean energy to the United Kingdom. This would help the UK to meet its renewable energy targets. After being used to generate electricity, the still hot water is then piped into nearby urban areas where it is used for central heating in homes, offices and industries. Over 90% of all homes in Iceland are heated by geothermal energy. Since the change from energy produced by coal to geothermal, Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, has become one of the cleanest cities in the world. So at this stage, the water is now much cooler. It's then pumped through pipes under the soil into greenhouses. And this allows flowers and vegetables to be grown throughout the year. It has also replaced oil as the energy source used by growers. In some parts of Iceland, particularly Reykjavik, the capital, hot water from geothermal power plants actually runs under pavements and roads to keep the pavements and roads warm so ice doesn't form on them. Tourism is a fast growing section of the Icelandic economy. Most tourists are attracted by features that are related to volcanic activity here. These include the volcanoes, the geysers and hot pools. One of the best known hot pools or spas in Iceland is known as the Blue Lagoon. Water heated by geothermal energy is pumped from 1600 meters below the surface of the earth having been used to generate both heat and electricity, any excess water, which is absolutely pristine and clean, is pumped into the lagoon. A major leisure complex has now been developed and is now a key tourist attraction for Iceland. Iceland is one country which has been able to fully exploit geothermal energy. As magma rises up through fissures, it generates high temperatures at relatively shallow depths this causes the surrounding igneous rock to absorb this heat, which in turn heats the groundwater. Geothermal energy really could be the part of the solution to our over-reliance on fossil fuels, which contributes to global warming. Many Icelandic companies sell their technology to other countries which have volcanic activity. Iceland is actually still growing. Iceland is growing at about 5 centimetres a year. The island owes its existence to a large volcanic fissure in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the Eurasian Plate and the American Tectonic Plates meet. As it splits wider at the points where two tectonic plates meet, magma rises up, cools, hardens and forms new land. This is why today Iceland is still growing. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like me to cover a specific topic, please just pop it in the comment section below.